I learned this from, I have a very, very good trainer <laughs> that he's a no nonsense trainer. And he always tells me, don't stop. Whatever you do, don't stop. Right. Don't stop. Fight the fatigue, fight the fatigue, fight the fatigue. So this is what I do. Don't stop, fight the fatigue. And, and, and this is what's called resilience today. I actually just, um, I gave a class about overcoming struggles and challenges, the very, very big ones. And one of the points that I felt was the dimension that allows you to overcome it is really not giving up no matter what. And I finally found a, a midrash, which is so beautiful, that it said that why was Avraham compared to a dove out of all the birds? So the midrash mm -hmm. says that every other bird, when it injures its wing, it goes down until it heals and then it flies again. The dove is the only bird that even when it breaks its wing, it keeps flying with the other one. And I feel like that's us so much. You know, I know for me, I'm not the same yeah. person that I was five years ago, 10 years ago, before the depression, before the ECT, before the psych ward. But on the same token, I'm much more beautiful now. And I'm helping so many more yeah. people now. And, and I think that we're really like those doves and to kind of own it. I also thought to myself, you know, uh, somebody texted me today telling me, I usually don't listen to, to rabbis because it's like the same thing over and over again. And it doesn't connect to me. I heard you start <laughs> speaking to me about um, yeah. your, your psychological struggles. And I listened. And, um, and I thought to myself, you know, it's so interesting because who does the Mashiach come from? Who does the Redeemer come from? It comes from David, King David. So we know Moshe Rabbeinu, he gave us the Torah. It's beautiful. It's infinite. It's perfect. And at the same time, he, the Mashiach doesn't come from Moshe. He comes from David. What did David give to us? What was the book that he wrote for us? It's Tehillim. And I remember the first time that I read Tehillim, right? I was shocked. He literally is the first person who ever came out of the uh, struggling closet. The entire Tilim is filled with, I'm broken, I'm suffering, I'm in pain, I can't take it anymore. Shem, Admatai, when are you going to help me? And you see that the Mashiach comes from him. It's that real felt experience of the struggle itself. You don't get an answer in Tilim, but you do feel that now your pain is normalized. And we see again that the Geula comes from this experience of, I am not alone. My pain is normal. My lackings are normal. And, and you could see how great of a, a, a benefit it is to people just to hear that they're not struggling alone. Right. And it's a very important message also, because once you know your own struggle, then you can relate to other people. 